How do you see all of that playing its role into the crude prices? Well, good morning, Manisha. I think a couple of things, as you highlighted, you know, those the Strait of Hormuz is uh, turning again to becoming such an important, uh, not only waterway, but that, that access point. And, you know, what impact that's going to have with, you know, naval forces going there to secure ships being able to sail through that whole region. Uh, that's naturally, you know, it's always been a powder keg as far as an environment and it's and well, I think it's just a wait and see. You know, if something does escalate, it really does happen very quickly there. And uh, it's just a, um, a, at the moment a war of words. But um, let's see if something eventuates over the next matter of a week or so. Well, you're right. It's war of words right now. Not exactly anything happening there. But, uh, Peter, the kind of uh, uh, pressure that we continue to see, the demand concerns on one side, uh, how do you see that uh, impacting the prices also? Because on one side, we are looking at uh, the U.S. crude inventory is declining. The U.S. production is off record highs. The OPEC compliance is on the higher side. Saudi Arabia says that they are going to export uh, below sub 7 million uh, barrels per day for the month of August as well. So when you look at the supply, we, look, we seem to be looking at a positive bullish uh, situation there. Would you say it all really uh, boils down to the uh, sentiment in the economic markets and the demand concerns? Well, I think it is more sent sentiment as across the global situation. You know, there are so many moving parts to that. And, you know, structural weakness, Eurozone, have a look what's happening as far as China. Um, you know, there, there's so much talk. You know, you know it's, it's an ongoing saga as far as dropping interest rates, race to the bottom. What's happening with Jerome Powell? Everyone understands that we're not looking at a rosy picture for 2020 and possible, you know, global recessions come 2021. So that's the highlight at the moment, and all of that naturally dictates to the price of crude. So um, it's a, again, let's see what happens over the next matter of a couple of weeks to give us a clear understanding once, um, you know, that European summer's put behind us and we can move into that, you know, September, October. If nothing happens geopolitically or with hurricanes, then I think that prices will probably stabilise or move a little bit softer from here. Mm. So what's your sense? Where are the prices going when you said the prices can see further decline? What kind of levels are we talking about? I think a couple of dollars. I mean, look, Benicia, there's nothing to drive it higher at the moment. But as you know, something can change very quickly when you're talking about Iran. You're talking about the Strait of Hormuz. What's going on as far as uh, the unknown situations from a geopolitical side? And then you've got the other side. We, we still haven't got any closer understanding as far as these trade concerns with China, nor with Brexit. Mm. And I think a realisation, you know, are we heading for that structural weakness and, you know, a race to the bottom if we see another um, cut by Fed Chair Powell over the next 30 to 60 days? And that's really going to put more firepower to, um, you know, the, the, the rationale that we're not looking at a rosy picture. It's going to be one of, you know, a lot tougher than what everyone even forecasts. So, Peter, what you're saying is that those days of $70 per barrel for Brent are totally out. And from here on, it's either going to be trading around these levels or further softness. I think a little bit further softness, but you know that can change quickly if you see something dramatically happen from a geopolitical side, Manisha. I mean, they're the unknowns. And, you know, when you study these markets and you look at all of the different actors and the moving parts, we've got everything. The only thing we haven't got on the market at the moment is hurricane. Hmm. And we're right in the start of that season. And as you know, if you put your mind back to 2006 when Katrina hit, I think it was about the 25th of August. Well, we're nearly at that date now. And, you know, the season really starts to take off about this time. So... Hopefully we don't get anything like that, but that can be another wild card that will affect U.S. crude and certainly uh, upset the Gulf, and which in turn can drive prices very, very quickly, you know, at 3 4 or 5 or $10 to it. So they're the points at the moment. I think traders are looking at it and they're realising that there's a lot of um, much volatility. I think that's the, the key word, man, it's your volatility. Mm.